if you watch the game, if you look at the final score, one might say Duke was in total control. I'm not worried at all. But you say that perhaps they were exposed. Where? No, I don't think they were exposed in this game. Look, they were overwhelmed their opponent in this game. There's no doubt about it. You look, Cal State Faulkner, they probably were mm -hmm. a 16 seed. They weren't a 15 seed. But having said that, look, if Duke's going to win the national championship. If Duke's going to get to the final four, all right, got to be really good in the half court. Now, they had 22 assists today. That's a good thing. I still want to see Paolo Bancaro continue to play downhill for 40 minutes, and I want him to play and execute in the half court. Because to win in the NCAA tournament, you're going to be forced not against teams you can overwhelm. I like that from Paolo Bancaro. Get to the basket. Don't settle. Don't shoot a three-point shot. All right? But for them to win a national championship, they must play downhill, and they must be committed for 40 minutes defensively. A little bit better today, but it's against Cal State Fullerton. Mm -hmm. What are they going to be against their next opponent? What are they going to be against Texas Tech? Will they be able to run offense against Texas Tech if it's Texas Tech? To be able to compete offensively and compete defensively and for Paul Mancaro never to settle. I'm the best dude on minutes. the court. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a play. I'm not going to settle. They, if they're that team, mm -hmm. they get to the Final Four. If not, they get bounced. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.